Hallelujah. Praise God. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Becoming a Better Leader class. Praise. It's Thursday tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And, and tonight we're expecting not to hear from the Lord. And before we will start, I will start in Psalm 70, verse 4. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. If we are seeker, if we are seeker of the blood of God, if we are seeker of God, then the word of God said, let those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say continually, let the Lord be magnified. Amen. So let's continue to magnify the Lord in our life. Let's continue to magnify the Lord in our workplace, wherever we are. Let's continue to magnify the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The more we'll continue to magnify the Lord, the more he's become bigger and bigger and bigger in our life. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. God loves us so much. And I have mentioned that he has a good thing. He has a good plan for us tonight. Hallelujah. He is a word in season for us tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much again tonight. Thank you, Father God, for what you have prepared for us tonight. God, thank you for the word. Thank you, Father God, for our heart while wow. teaching us to humble ourselves. Lord God, to position ourselves, oh God, to receive from you. Praise God. Lord, will not be familiar of the word. will not be familiar of every night na ginagawa po namin, oh God. But Lord, we're always excited and expecting their God to hear from you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. And we are not only here of the word, but we are a doer of the word. Yes, Lord, continue to teach us. Continue to teach us. Continue to teach us. God, you said in your word, those who are humble, oh God, you will teach. Those who are humble, oh God, will hear. So, Father, we thank you. We are humble. We humble ourselves. We choose. We decide to humble ourselves before you in the name of Jesus and everything. Receive everything. Receive everything, dear God what you want us to hear tonight, what you want us to see tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, that we have all the capacity to hear. Thank you, Father, God, that we are all anointed. We are all anointed to hear and act on the word in the name of Jesus. We are all blessed. And Lord, we thank you once again for the increase of wisdom, increase of revelation in the knowledge of the truth, increase of our spiritual understanding, increase of the light. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you, dear God, for the entrance of your word. Oh, Lord God, we'll continue to light our heart, oh God. We speak, dear God, that the entrance of your word will continue to, wow, to flood our heart with more light. Yes, our heart tonight will be flooded with more light. Father, thank you. And it will really simplify our life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We acknowledge you and thank you for the blood. And we declare, Jesus, you are our Lord. We're all blessed tonight. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, again, welcome to our Becoming a Better Leader class. Ang topic natin ngayong gabi is priorities and decision making. Natatawa ko eh, kasi actually, di ko talaga to. Yung parang gusto ko din ma... Gusto ko din ma-surprise yung sarili ko. Not, I will not be familiar. Kaya bago ko, nung nireview ko ngayon siya, sabi ko, oh, tamang-tama. Ito yung mga, ito yung mga tinatanong ni Ma'am Ella kagabi. At ito din yun ang topic natin. No? Priorities and decision making. Praise God. You are talagang, you are in the right place, Sister Ella. You are in the, Ma'am Ella, you are in the right place. Wow. With the right people doing the right thing in the right time. Praise God. So making the most of your time. Amen. We need to learn to prioritize, know our priority and making decision. Kasi totoo yun. If we don't know what is our priority, it's very difficult to make as a decision. Tapos kagabi, di ba? Parang connection dun sa topic natin kagabi na the more we are in the light, the more it's easier for us to make a decision. Kaya, di talaga siya automatically dan. Talagang napakabuti ng Panginoon na lagi niya tayong tinuturuan kung ano talaga yung mabuti. No? Because mayroon siyang plano nga sa ating mga boy boss. Mayroon nga siyang plano sa ating mga buhay at nais ng Panginoon talaga na ma-enjoy natin yun, magmamanifest yung plano niya sa atin. Sa Psalms 23 verse 24, 
Hallelujah. Ano? Matthew 23, Psalms. Matthew 23, praise the Lord. Ang ganun talaga ng Panginoon. God is so faithful. Talagang, talagang grabe yung love ng God sa atin. Na hindi niya talaga tayo hayaan na maliligaw. Hindi tayo hayaan na, na magkawindang-wendang. Hindi niya tayo hayaan na mahirapan. No? Talagang He always give us the word. He always, kumbaga, i-rescue niya tayo lagi. Igagay niya talaga tayo. Sa Mark, Matthew 23-24, blind guides who strains out are not and swallow a camel. So mahirap nga talaga no na ang magagaide sa atin ay blind. No, kung blind ang magagaide sa atin, talagang laglag talaga tayong lahat. So mistaken priorities lie at the heart of ineffective leadership. Mistaken priorities lie at the heart of ineffective leadership. Kaya pag ang ating leadership is hindi effective, what will happen? Magkaroon ng mistaken priorities. Kaya pag magkaroon ng mistaken priorities, what will happen? Less production. No? Less production, talagang wala. Sayang. No? Magkaroon lang tayo ng waste of time. So Jesus is called the Pharisee in Matthew 23-24. And for confusing what was and wasn't important. No? confused nila yung aparisi what is important and what is not important their priorities were enforcing laws and rules yun yun di ba yung mga pariseo no yung, yung mga religious no mga religious people they are enforcing the law and rules no we're not we're not building religion ayon ng pagnan ng religion kasi pag pag religious si kasi ng gawin ko natin ang enforce talaga natin is yung rules yung laws di yun no Christian Christ priorities were the spiritual need of others no ito yung ito yung priority ni Jesus no spiritual needs of others and great leaders know the heart of their people great leader know the heart of their people and act with the end in mind hindi lang nila alam yung yung heart ng people nila but in their heart also is to act no is to act no kung ano yung nasa puso nila kasi yung priority nga as Jesus is yung priority nila is yung spiritual need ng mga tao hallelujah so as spiritual leaders we know that Jesus died for us and that our ultimate mission is the great commission yun naman talaga no kung bakit bakit tayo bakit si Jesus Christ na parito at bumalik nung sa langit no and he give us the authority because for, of the great commission no he want the will of God that everyone will be saved we also know that the bible rarely gives us the step by step instruction for a given task no hindi talaga siya hindi tayo nang sinabi ko po hindi tayo nang pang overwhelm no yung hindi pa natin kailangan. So yung plano ng Panginoon also sa buhay po natin step by step. Kaya ang Panginoon din po nagbibigay sa atin ng instruction step by step for a given task. Consequently, we must ask God for wisdom. Tingnan mo po yung ating topic. Nagkukunik talaga that lagi sa ating growing faith. So we always need ask for wisdom. Keep the big picture in mind. Ano yung big picture that God has a plan in my life and in that plan, God has a purpose, God is a will and He has ways of doing it. If we know that God has, has a ways of doing it, so we continue to ask God's wisdom on how to do it. And then, what happened? Lead from God's priorities. Okay, list from God first and make the most of our time since the days are evil. We need to make our the most of our time because the days are evil. Tingnan po natin sa Ephesians 5. See then that you walk circumspectly and as fools but as a wise. Not as a fools but a wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise but understand what the will of the Lord is. Ha, ah, connect yung kagabi. Therefore, do not be unwise. So wise people always understand. Wise people always understand. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand that the will 
what the will of the Lord is. No? If we know the Lord, if we want to know the will of God, we will know. No, we will know. So, yun. So, ngayon, tatanong, evaluate tayo, mag-evaluate tayo ngayong gabi. Tapos, ang sagot nyo is, yes and no. Okay, if you have your ball pen, if you have your ball pen and notebook, okay, para maganda yung ma-check, ma-evaluate natin ngayon natin sarili. No, itetest natin. Tapos, ang sagot nyo is, yes or no. Okay, number one, our topic is priorities and making decisions. So, kailangan natin ito matututunan. Kailangan natin masagot na sarili natin. Kailangan natin ma-evaluate na sarili ko natin. Number one, do you plan tomorrow's work today? No? Pinaplano mo ba yung trabaho mo bukas ngayon? Amen? Kasi yung iba, hindi talaga nagpa-plano. Okay. Pinaplano mo ba ba ang trabaho mo bukas? ngayon. Or wala ka talagang pinaplano kung ano mong gagawin bukas. <laughs> Number two question. Do you perform routine course at your daily low energy times and creative task at your high peak? Do you perform routine course yes or na sagot ah at your daily low energy times and creative pass at a high peak. Yes or no? Ano ba yung paano mo ba pinu-perform yung araw-araw mong ginagawa? No? Low energy times and creative task at your high peak? Yes or no? Huwag ka lang mapapressure. At least maganda mat- natutulungan tayo. Matutulungan tayo dito sa mga question na ito. At makikita natin ngayon kung ano yung dapat natin i-adjust, ano yung dapat natin i-develop. Number three, do you get unpleasant duties out of the way as soon as possible? Yes or no? Do you get unpleasant duties, duties out of the way as soon as possible? Yes or no? Number four, do you preview the day's work through your head as you begin the day? No, ni-review mo ba? Niisip mo ba? Ni-recall mo ba? No, yung work mo. Sa isip mo, as you begin the day. For example, yung araw na to, ni-recall mo ba ano ba yung ginagawa ko kagabi? Ano ba ginagawa ko kahapon? Or marirecall mo pa ba? Okay, kung di mo marirecall ba, wala ka talagang ginagawa. Wala kang na-accomplice, wala kang na-accomplice. Hindi mo alam kung ano ginagawa mo kahapon. Okay, yes or no? Eh, Naantuwa ako kasi makakatulong talaga ito sa atin. Number five, are you able to deal with people who waste your time? No? Eh, may mga tao, are you able to deal with people who waste your time? No, may mga tao kasi talaga na parang dinidistract ka, no? Yung may schedule ka tapos sinisira yung schedule mo. So, kaya mo ba silang i-deal? No? Number five, Number six, do you know how to log your time that is occasionally write down just how long it takes to accomplish its day's task? Meron ka bang to-do list? Na, okay, kanyari, yung pagluluto, kailang gawin ko lang ito lang. Did you master that 60 minutes? No, 60 minutes. Kailang pagluluto ko one hour lang. Kailangan, can you imagine kung kanyari, Meron tayong 12 hours in a day, di ba? 12 hours, grabe naman, grabe naman 12 hours or 16 hours. Kising ka kasi kung regular talaga yung tulog, 8 hours, 24 hours, so meron kang 16 hours every day. Okay, doon sa 16 hours na yon, paano mo binabudget ang time mo? No? Nalalag mo ba? Pagluluto mo, paglilinis mo, dapat yung yung productivity dapat we need to master the 60 minutes in every task in every task we need to master the 60 minutes papa-practice 'yon ako minsan pumapalpak 
No, pero if we really want to be more productive, we need to master the 60 minutes. No, kung nasa workplace ka, nagtatrabaho ka for eight hours. Can you imagine eight hours ka na tatrabaw? Mayroon kang task na tatatapos for eight tasks in a day. Kung minamaster mo ngayon yung 60 minutes, you are a blessing to your company. No, you are a blessing to your company. Kasi hindi mo pinapatay yung oras. No? You are so productive. Okay. Number seven. When you promise that you'll get something done, on time, do you always try to keep your word? No? Kunyari, meron kayong assignment or may mga deadlines. Nakikip mo ba yung promise mo? Or may mga, may mga, yeah, may mga deadlines, may mga submission, kung natatrabaho, estudyante, no? Nakikip mo ba yung promise mo? When you, you, when you promise that you'll get something done on time, do you always try to keep your words? Number eight, do you sit aside portion of each day to think, create, and plan? Do you set aside a portion of each day? Meron talaga pala, no? To think, create, and plan. Yes or no? Okay, marami tayong repair Number nine, is your workplace tidy? Can you find what you need without wasting time? Praise God. Is your workplace tidy? Amen. Magkikita mo ba kaya pagpikit mga ito, alam mo kung saan mo siya nilalagay. O kaya naubos na yung oras mo, hindi makikita yung roller kung saan mo nilalagay. <laughs> yes or no? Number 10. Do you have an efficient filing or organization system? Or, yeah, do you have efficient filing or organization system? Ka-organize ka ba? Or, hindi mo alam, halo, halo na, hindi mo alam, pagpikit mo, wala ka talaga may isip kung saan mo nilalagay. We're talking about priority and making decision. Ito sa mga bagay-bagay na ito. Pag hindi ito ayos, ito talaga magdi-delay sa atin. Number 11, do you know how to choose your most productive task? Do you know how to choose your most productive task? Yes or no? Number 12. Do you know exactly what your top priorities are? Do you know exactly what, what is your top priorities? Okay. 1 to 12 yun. Ngayon, itali mo ng score mo. Ikaw din mag-check. Okay. Ilan ba ang 10 mo? Ilan, ilan ba ang 10? Ilan ba ang yes mo? Ilan ba ang no? So, meron ng score. Okay. Ito na. Ito na ang revelation sa score. Okay. Ah. Ito ang revelation sa score. Pag ang yes mo is 10 to 12, you handle your time excellently. Kung ang score mo is 10 to 12, you handle your time excellently. Productive ka man. Okay. If ang no mo is 7 to 9 or, or 7 to 9, ang no, pag ang score ng no mo is 7 to 9, you are good. You are good but still need to grow. Ang yes mo, kung 6 ang yes mo, you're wasting your time. <laughs> You're wasting your time. You're wasting, you are wasting valuable time and may not even know it. No? Hindi mo alam na sinasayang mo lang pala ang oras mo na hindi mo alam. Praise God. Kaya anong gagawin natin ngayon? No? Huwag kayong mag-condemn. We're all in the process. We're all in progress. Amen? Okay, ang question... What are areas in your day where you can improve? So ngayon, yun ang hanapin mo ngayon. No, based on the score mo, ngayon tanungin mo sarili mo, ano ba yung area in your day where you can improve? 
So it's good na nakikita natin ngayon, din yun ngayon ang i-work po natin. Ano ba yung area na to? So you need to adjust. No, kasi kung score natin is six, no, we are wasting our time na hindi natin alam. Sayang naman. Sayang naman yung mga panahon na yung oras na yun. Okay, tingnan po natin yung biblical priorities. Answer on priorities. Okay, may mga kita dito. What was Jesus' priority? Okay. Para makita natin sa sarili po natin. Sa Mark 1, tingnan po natin sa Mark 1. Now in the morning, having raised, risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, let us go into the next town that I may preach there also. Because of this purpose, I have come forth. So God, Jesus Christ knows His priority. Ano priority ni Jesus? He prayed. Madaling araw pa lang, nananalangin na siya. Pagkatapos, after niya mananalangin, tingnan mo, hindi siya distracted. Alam niya kung anong gagawin niya. Alam niya anong priority. Kahit na marang mga taong lumalapit sa kanya, pero rin sinabi niya, marang mga taong naghanap sa kanya, pero sinabi niya, let us go into the next town that I may preach there also because for this purpose I have come from. So Jesus is a purpose-driven. No? He's purpose-driven. Ito yung purpose ni God sa akin. Ko dito tayo. So hindi siya na-interrupt doon sa need. Ang kanyang tinitingnan lagi, ano yung kanyang assignment? Ano yung purpose niya? Pero tingnan po natin, saan niya nakukuha yun? Number one priority niya talaga yung relationship, yung fellowship and with God. Amen? Kaya kagap yung mga previous topic natin, the more we come closer to God, the more we will, the light, no? Everything will become bright. At makikita natin ngayon, no? Kaya makakatulong talaga yan sa paggawa ng desisyon. And what is the Christian's priority? Ano ba naman ang priority ng mga Christians? Tingnan natin sa Luke 10, 39. Luke 10, 39 to 42. And she, and, and she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving and, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone. Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. So ano dapat ang priority din natin as a Christian? To fellowship with God. To listen. And fellowship with God. Hindi talaga, hindi talaga nagsaserve, pero hindi talaga aligaga. The Lord want us to listen, to sit down before we do the things. Amen? There's a hearing first. There's a sitting down, a hearing, instruction, bago gagawa. So yun yung dapat priority po natin. Okay, what is the priority of church leaders? Sa mga church leaders naman, sa Acts 6, verses 2 to 4. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on, to wait on tables, tables. Brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over them and will give and will give our Give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. So spiritual leadership, ano naman yung priority? Is to pray and the word. Prayer and the word. Okay? Prayer and the ministry of the word. What about distractions and hindrances? So nakita na po natin ang priority ni Jesus, prayer, and then purpose, preach. And then ang Christian priority dapat is like Mary sat down listening to Jesus and then the leadership's priority is prayer and the ministry of the word of God. Okay, Hebrew 12 ano kailangan natin? No, kanina na evaluate mo po natin yung yung exam na exam sa sarili po natin. So, ang lahat ng distraction talaga na maghihinder sa atin 
no na makuha natin, magawa natin yung priority na yun. Sinabi sa Hebrew 12, one talaga, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us and let us run with endurance the particular race that it set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. Mayroon talagang laying aside. No, ano man yung magdi-distract sa atin doon sa mga priority na alam mo, yun yung pinapagawa ni God. We need to make a quality decision. Kaya minsan it's good to always ask God, no? Yung 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 talaga, yung meditation talaga. Tapos tanungin na, ito bang ginagawa ko? Tama ba to? Pinapagawa to pang inun or or trap to para hindi ko talaga magawa yung pinaka-priority. Amen. Kasi si Satan is deceiver. Yung heart natin talaga to help, but sometimes yung heart po natin, gusto natin gagawin, yung pala, hindi natin talaga na-maximize na priority yung gusto ni God na gagawin. And along the way, makikita natin na trap na pala kasi priority hindi na natin nagagawa. Kaya, kaya hindi, ano talaga, kailangan talaga lagi talaga ng consecration. Kailangan talaga ng consecration. Okay. How does our purpose help us with our priorities? Kung alam natin yung purpose natin, paano siya ngayon makakatulong sa ating mga priorities? Sa 1 Corinthians 9, 24-27, Do you not know that in the race, in a race, all run, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. So ito yun. How does our purpose help us with our priority? Mayroon talagang beating. Mayroon talagang throwing. Mayroon talagang pursuing. Mayroon talagang pressing on. Amen? Mayroon talagang training, strict training. Sa namin, Apostle Paul, no, I, 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 I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified. Mayroon self-discipline. Kailangan talaga mayroon self-discipline. Okay. Mayroon magandang principle that 80 20 principle. Okay. Yung 80 20 principle teaches us that if we focus our attention on our most important activities, kay kailangan natin kanina, do you know your priority? No? Kung magfo-focus tayo, no, ang ating attention do sa most important activities, we gain the highest return of our effort. If we tend to If we tend to the top 20%, most important priorities, kunyari meron kang 100. Okay, meron kang... Okay, padala na. Mag-demo mag, mag, mag ako. Okay. Kunyari, ito yun. Hindi ako kanina nag-ready. Ah. Okay, mag, makakuha niyo to. Ang cute. Ayan. Ay, hindi makita. Kunyari ito, 100% ito. Ito, 20. Ito, 80. Ngayon, pag magpo-focus tayo dito sa 20% of our priority, okay, ang magiging result mo, ang result dito ay, ang effect dito is 80%. Ang production mo is 80%. Nag-focus ka sa 20% priority mo, pero ang effect, ang result is 80%. Tanda mo yung, yung testimony mo, Sir Nelda, na sabi mo magpe-pray ka, pero madami kang gagawin, maglalaba ka, dapat maglalaba ka, pero sinabi ng Holy Spirit sa'yo na magpe-pray ka ng 2 o'clock, tapos anong ginawa mo? Sinusunod mo yung priority prayer, pero tingnan mo nagawa mo, nakapaglaba ka, nakapaglinis ka, hindi ka napapagod, nakapagluto ka, pagkatas. 
because you make the most important the priority you work out the priority the 20% then look the result pero kung unahin mo ang 80% the result is 20 less kaya yun yung 6 that you are just wasting your time no na hindi mo alam na nagwe-waste ka na pala ng time the 80% was ito ka nag, nag ano parang busy ka Pero yung nangyari pala, nangyari pala, wala. Pero pag alam natin yung priority natin, yung result talaga ng trabaho mo, kumbaga yung production mo is 80%. E ngayon kung hindi mo alam yung priority mo, ano tatrabuhin mo? Kaya dapat alam talaga natin kung ano ba talaga yung priority po natin. Amen? Kasi sabi niya, we will accomplish 80% of the result we desire. Okay. At dami mong, meron nga akong naririnig eh, uh, uh, the more you have many activities to do, the more you spend time with in prayer. Kasi doon sa prayer ngayon, mafi-filter kasi yun eh, mafi-filter kasi talaga yun, no, yung, mga, yung mga trabaho mo ngayon. Yung priority talaga yung magawa and then, nagko-cover yun doon sa pinakamara. Kasi yung mga, yung mga less priority na filter yung pinaka nagawa mo talaga yung priority na yun. Kaya yung production, yung result, mas marami siyang na-accomplish. Amen? Sinabi dito, no, the principle can be applied to your everyday life and able you to lead more effectively. Okay. Accomplishing your first two priorities no, will give you 80% of your desired result. Two priorities lang, or 20%, two priorities lang sa araw na yun, will give you the 80% of the desired result. This occurs because you have made the least in order for a priority. Many of the lower ones are much less fruitful for the kingdom of God because they don't know their priorities, and they don't know how to focus on it. Okay, pag alam natin yung priority po natin and we set 100% focus on it, then nagko-cover yun ng 80% dun sa desired result mo. ba? Kaya nga, yung light talaga, yung, kaya yung plan ng Panginoon talaga is really simplified kasi hindi siya magko-complicate kasi tuturo ang ka ng Panginoon kung anong priority tapos ginagawa nyo with this wisdom kaya yung desired result na gusto mo mangyayari siya. So if you embrace the wrong priorities this principle will work against you. 80% of your effort will gain you 20% of the result and the fruit you desire. Kaya nakakapagod. Amen? Ang sinabi sa Psalms 90 verse 12 Teach us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Amen? Okay, araw-araw, Lord, continue to show me, Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do, Lord? What do you want me to do? Kasi focus tayo sa pinapagod ng Panginoon and then it give us the 20%, the 80% result that we desire. Di ba? Pag nangyari, ang kunti mo lang ng ginawa, pero pala yung effect pala na yun, napakalaki na pala yung effect yung production mo. Pero feeling mo, kunti na yung ginawa mo. Bakit? Kasi ginawa mo yung pinaka-priority at nagpo-focus ka dun sa pinaka-priority kayo yung desired result na gusto mo nangyayari. Compare doon sa hindi mo alam yung priority mo, hindi mo focus yung priority mo, dami-dami mong ginagawa yung pala 20% lang yung nagiging result. Amen? Okay. Example for 80 and 20 principle sa time. Okay. 20% of our time produces 80% of result. 20% of time produces 80% of result. So how you manage your time, how you prioritize your time, it will give you 80% result. Sa counseling, 20% of the people take up 80% of our time. 20% of the people take up 80% of our time. Kunyari, no, dalawang tao lang na papakonsult sa iyo, 80% na ng time mo ako. Oh. Sa trabaho, 
20% of our effort gives us 80% of our satisfaction. Kasi bakit nag-focus ka doon sa 20% na priority kay nagbibigay sa inyo ng 80% satisfaction sa ginagawa mo. Kaya pagka umaga, yun yung sinabi kanina, mayroon ka pang mababalikan ng ginawa ko hapon. Meron kang na-evaluate because you are satisfied. 80% you are satisfied of what you did yesterday. Ministry. 20% of the ministries provide 80% of the fruit. Kaya even in the ministry, we should know our assignment. Ano bang ginapinapagawa for us in this season? Amen? Kasi magre-resulta ngayon ng 20% Production. Napansin niyo po, si God is fruit-minded. He want fruit in everything. He want result. He is a result-minded. Leadership. 20% of people make it a percent of the decision. 20% of the people make it a percent of the decision. Worker. 20% of the members do. 20% of the member do. 80% of the ministry. Kahit 20% lang natatrabaho, pero yung result, 80% of the ministry. Mentoring. 20% of the influencers are where you should invest in your time. So ito yung mga example. Pag nagpo-focus tayo doon sa 20% na yon, that is your priority. Expect the 80% result and satisfaction. Kaya hindi ito padamihan. Hindi padamihan. Hindi paramihan. I mean, knowing your priorities and making decision. Okay. Lesson to learn. Okay, dito tayo. Listen to learn. From 80 to 20 principle. Dalain ko na makukuha natin to. Unti-unti na tayo ngayon. Ay, mukhang dito, 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 dito. Okay, it's good to know your purpose. It's good to know your will. The will of God in your life. It's good to know the plan. Kasi pag lahat ng ginagawa natin, the Lord will give us the wisdom. Pag, pag sama-samahin mo, ma-identify -ma mo talaga, He will give you the discernment. Ito ba mga bagay na ito, makakatulong ba ito sa purpose ko? Ito ba mga bagay na ito, makakatulong ba ito sa kalooban ng plan sa buhay ko? Ito mga bagay na ito, makakatulong ba ito sa plan ng Panginoon? O ito ba ay plan ng Panginoon, purpose ng Panginoon, kalooban ng Panginoon? Kaya pag gano'n na kaagad yung mind natin na rin yun na kapatid makikita, magugulat ka, marami mga bagay sa buhay mo na basura pala. At unti-unti mo na nga silang i-eliminate. Kasi hindi sila nakakatulong doon sa purpose ng God sa buhay mo, hindi sila nakakatulong sa kalooban ng God sa buhay mo at sa plan ng God sa buhay mo. So na-filter siya ngayon. Ngayon, ano nangyayon ang daladala mo? Oh, yun ang priority, ang kalooban ng God sa buhay mo. Okay, listen to learn. Activity does not equal accomplishment. Yung activity, hindi yun equal sa accomplishment. It doesn't mean na mayroon kang activity, mayroon kang accomplishment. Hindi. That's not, that's not equal accomplishment. Your goal should not be to simplify or simply stay busy. Our goal is not to be to simply stay busy. Look for the wisest people and places to invest your time. Look for the wisest people and places to invest your time. Hindi yung activity mo ngayon na ginagawa mo ay mag-i-equal doon sa accomplishment mo. Kaya nga yung activity mo kung hindi nag-connect sa plano ni God, hindi, it's just a waste of time. Amen? So it's good to invest with the wise people. Mga tao na nakikita mo na nag-connect doon, no? Kumbaga, the same heart, the same goal. Doon ka, no? Mag-accelerate ka talaga. Okay? What else? Work smarter, not harder. Hindi ka lang. Work, 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 work. Work smarter, not harder. Working smarter means working on what you can do. And delegating on things others can do. What good is to work 
extremely hard when it accomplishes little. Dami mong ginagawa, pero yung accomplish mo, maliit lang. Amen? Work smarter, not harder. Guys, sa loob ng bahay, okay, sakro lang sa loob ng bahay, the leader, meron kayong mga anak, if you are wise parents, no, don't work so harder. Meron kang mga anak, i-delegate mo yung mga trabaho doon sa loob ng tahanan. No? Working smarter means working on what you can do. Delegating on things others can do. Yung kaya nang gagawin ng iba, i-delegate mo na. Kaya naman nila maghugas ng plato, maglaba, i-delegate. Don't do it. Gawin mo lang kung anong kaya mong gawin. Amen? This is the example of 80 and 20% principles. Amen? Huwag kayo manghinayang sa sabon kung sayang-sayangan nila yon. At least matututo sila. Huwag kayo manghinayang sa tubig. Amen? Pasaingin nyo sila, lahat-lahat, kung alam nilang kaya na. Yung di nila kaya, yun, kaya ginawa ko sa inyo, di ba? Eh ngayon, alangan ako pang mag-evangelize, ako pang mamanalangin, ako pa lahat. Hindi na. Anong gagawin nyo? Kayo na. O di, iba na ginagawa ko. Kaya, yung hindi nyo kaya gagawin, kayo na ginagawa ko. Kaya yung kaya nyo gawin, kayo nang gagawa. Amen? Yun yun, magpuproduce tayo ng marami. Ano pa? Organize or agonize. <laughs> organize or agonize. If you can learn to organize, then we can become more efficient in getting things done. Organize. This in turn will save us a lot of time and frustration. Di ba yung lagi kong sinasabi sa inyo, di ko lang ginagawa yung pag-check sa mga bahay nyo, pag-check sa mga drawer nyo. Ba? Ano bang kalagayan ngayon ng mga drawers nyo? Ano bang kalagayan ngayon, lagayan ng underwear nyo? Lagayan ng medyas nyo? Lagayan ng mga damit nyo? Yun nga lang. Kapatid, kung hindi mo makikita ka agad yung gusto mong isuot, ikaw ang may problema. Agonizing talaga. Di ba? So, we need to organize. Hindi naman perfect. Pero pagpikit mo ng mata mo, alam mo kung saan mo nilalagay yun. Na hindi, you're not wasting your time na maghanap. Kailangan yun. Amen? Yun po yung example ng 80 to 20. So, kung matututo tayo noon, then... More productive na po tayo. Then number four, evaluate or stagnate. I-evaluate mo or mag-stagnant ka. So determining where we stand in relation to your goal is very important. Ano na ba ngayon? Ano na ba yung standing mo? Ano na ba yung goal mo ngayon? No? Saan ka na ba ngayon? Ano bang nangyari sa'yo? To move to the next level of leadership, we must evaluate our current situation. We need to evaluate. Eh, ito kanina, ang ganda, kasi nag-check tayo, na-evaluate po tayo. Ah, ito na pala ang kalagayan ko. So, kailangan talaga, lagi nating evaluate yung kalagayan po natin. Ako, pang-apat na buwan na ngayon ako, sa Mel Roshan, February, March, April, May. Ay, yung, si White Dab pala, pang-apat na buwan. Kaka-evaluate ko lang. Ito bang ginagawa ko? Tama pa ba ito? Ito ba yung kalooban? You keep on evaluating yourself na hindi ka mag-stagnant. Kung itong ginagawa mo, nag-stagnant yan, hindi ka na nakakapag, there's something wrong. May mga priorities, hindi na nagawa, there's something wrong. I mean, hindi, dire-direcho lang, hindi. Mayroon laging self-examination. Mayroon laging evaluation sa lahat ng mga ginagawa po natin. I mean, ito pa ba ngayon ay work? Nag-work? Ito pa ba ay na-help sa akin? Ito pa ba ay nagpukunig sa pinagawa? Ito ba yung mga pinapagawa? Ito nagagawa ko pa ba? O ano ba? Kasi na-check mo ngayon. Amen? Nag-check mo ngayon. So, determining where we stand in relation to your goal is very important. Ito yung goal ko. Ano na ba ngayon ang sitwasyon? Ano na ba ang status ano sa goal ko? Ano na ba nangyayari? Amen? Because to, mo- 
to move to the next level of leadership, we must evaluate our current situation. If we don't know how to evaluate our current situation, you cannot move into the next level. Number five, listen, learn, schedule your priorities. Control your day or your day will control you. Kaya kung wala tayong to-do list, your day will control you. Dapat tayo yung magkocontrol ng ating araw. Napansin mo yung cellphone. Isa to, number one talaga itong ano talaga, eh, distracting talaga ito eh. Hawakan mo na yung cellphone mo, kunyari check ka lang, tapos pagkamamayang ito, oh, kuras na. Para feeling mo, kabubukas mo lang. Kaganong, kaganong, ganon mo lang. Yung scrolling mo pala, umabunta pala ng isang oras. Tapos minsan, ayaw ko nang titigil kasi parang mayroon ka pang hinahanap. Minsan yung cellphone natin, yung nagkocontrol ng day natin, dapat tayo talaga magkocontrol. Amen? Hallelujah. So yun yung mga bagay na kailangan natin. Control your day or your day will control you. Don't fill your day feeling or filing the request of others. The issue is not prioritizing your schedule, but is scheduling your priorities. <laughs> Hindi is not prioritizing your schedule, kundi, kundi, schedule mo yung priority mo. Nagets? Hindi po yung priority natin. The issue is not prioritizing the schedule. Ay, hindi, kasi talaga ito yung schedule ko. Hindi, hindi, hindi po pwede. Today is my washing day. No, 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 hindi. <laughs> ano yung priority mo? Yung priority yung schedule mo. Amen? Hindi, hindi, hindi pa pwede, hindi pa pwede. Itong oras na ito, kailangan akong manunood ng TV. Hindi pa pwede. Hindi. Mali yun. Hindi yung priority yung schedule natin, kundi i-schedule natin ang ating priority. Okay? Para hindi tayo makokontrol. Ano pa? Number six. Reacting is not leading. When we lost control, we are no, we are no longer acting as a leader. But instead, reacting to the origin. If we forget the ultimate, we will become a slave to the immediate. Ay, may need dito. May need. Pastora, kailangan mong ano. Pastora, magbibiri over. Hindi. No, ano ba yung priority? Hindi tayo magre-react ka agad. No, hindi tayo magre-react. When we lost control, we are no longer acting as a leader, but instead reacting to the origin. Kapatid, we are not moved by the by urgent. We are moved by the need. Hindi po parking urgent. Yung need mo, hindi. Now, we forget the ultimate. We will become a slave to the immediate. So, hindi. And then, last. Kasi maraming hindi dito eh. Dahil, dahil nahihiya eh. Kaya mahiya. Say no to little things. Learn to say no. Amen. Kasi marami sa atin, nahihiya, mag-no. Say no to little things. Leader must say no to the little things so they can say yes to the big things. If you say no to the little things, you cannot say yes to the big things. If someone else can do it, then delegate it. Amen? Kung kaya naman, kunyari may nung nag-request, o oh, prayer, pastora, pray, oh. Kung kaya naman, mayroon ng alam gumagawa, gagawa, kaya na, then delegate it. Don't say yes. Doon sa mga maliit na bagay. Say no to the small things so that you can say yes to the big things. Amen? If you are a leader. Hallelujah. Or kahit hindi leader. Because these are the principle of the 80 to 20 principles. No? At nakita po natin, pag ginagawa natin yun yung result talaga ay yung desired result natin mas malaki pa doon. How to say no to how so, to say no? Paano mo say no? When we know who we are, what our gifts are, and what our calling is, it's much easier to determine the yes and no in life. Kung alam mo kung sino ka, anong mayroong gift mo, anong calling mo, 
mas madali ka lang magsasabi, oo o hindi. When a task would not further your goal, you need to just say no. The way you say no is just as important as deciding to say it. It's a decision. No. Kasi hindi yung nagko-connect doon. Kaya alam mo, may discernment talaga. Nabibigay. Tuturuan ka talaga ng Panginoon. Say no to the idea, not to the person. Okay. How to say no? Hindi doon sa tao, but to idea, to the idea. Make sure the person understand that you are not rejecting them. You are simply saying no to what they want to do. Give their idea affirmation, but explain that it doesn't fit in with the things that you need to accomplish. Amen? Huwag tayo magiging men pleaser. Kaya pag hindi mo alam yung purpose mo, yung goal mo, may possibility talaga na lahat ng tao, yes ka ta lahat na hindi mo na ngayon nakikita na yun ang parang importante na kailangan mong gagawin. Amen? Kaya ba? Pero we are not rejecting the person. We are just saying that, say no to the idea. Kasi nga, hindi siya nagko-connect ngayon sa goal mo, sa purpose mo. What else? How to say? Respond in terms of the best interest of the person's asking. Make sure that person knows that you're not just choosing the easy response, but that you want to genuinely help them, communicate that your time constraints would actually prevent you from doing the kind of work they deserve. For example, hey, uh, mayroong mag-invite sa'yo. Ngayon, kung nakikita mo yung invitation na yun, hindi nagko-connect doon sa plano, sa goal mo. We will see if it is the will of God. Amen? Or I will just pray for it. If it is the will of God, then we will do it. But if not, we will not do it. Tough siya, pero kung talaga, yung sinabi ko nga, priority and making decision. Kasi your choice today will determine your tomorrow. Your decision today will determine your tomorrow. If you choose right today, make a decision right today, then your future will be Right. Amen? Our today is the result of what our decision yesterday is. Okay, kung gusto natin ng tama, ngayon mag-decision tayo ng tama para future natin ay magiging tama. What else? Differ creatively, come up with an alternative. So think of the way that helps them complete their task. Give them confidence that they can do it or maybe help them find someone who will, and this will aid them in solving their problems. Okay, uh, uh, gusto ko sana, pero meron kasi akong importante, mas, mas meron priority. Pwede bang siya na lang ang gagawa para kaya niyang gawin yun. So, sinabi mong hindi, pero you're helping them na ma, ma, matulungan sila doon din sa need nila. Nag-guess po natin na hindi natin sila nire-reject but we're helping them na ma-meet them yung need nila na hindi ikaw. Kasi alam mo na hindi yung para sa'yo. There's somebody already, lalo na pag-leader, there's somebody already who could help, who could do it for you. Okay, nakita po natin. So, yun po muna na yun. Hallelujah. So, mahirap. Oo, at first mahirap. At first mahirap siya. Pero, along the way, yun yung nakikita ko, na-observe ko talaga. Si Lord, lagi talaga niya tayong tinutulungan. No, lahat ng to ay, ay proseso. No? Yung mga test to-do list is very important. First thing in the morning, ano ba yung Maganda talaga, mayroon kang to-do list. Tapos, i-ano mo ngayon kung saan mo siya, anong, saan mo siya ngayon, i-schedule mo yung priority mo. At first lang, mahirap. Pero along the way, maging lifestyle mo na yun, 
Kaya hindi ka na talaga. Basta-basta kasi alam ko mayroon akong schedule ngayon. Ito yung priority ko na itong gagawin. Hindi po pwede sa schedule ko. No? Hindi yung basta-basta na lang ka na naging open. Kaya yung sinabi, you, one day you will be selective because you have been selected. Hindi na lahat. No? You are always selective because you have been selected. Mayroon purpose again sa buhay mo. Hindi lahat ng bagay, oo, oo, oo. You have your priorities and you always make right decision in your priorities sa buhay po. Amen? So, sa ngayon, dito lang muna tayo. Medyo, balikan nyo lang po yung mga mga narinin nyo kaninang evaluation. Tapos, ito yung tip. Learn to plan. Okay, bukas anong gagawin ko? Okay. Bukas itong gagawin ko, bukas itong gagawin ko. Paano ko siya gagawin? Ah, okay. Kaya may planning talaga. Tapos planning, notebook. Okay, priority ko bukas. Anong gagawin ko bukas? Sulat na kagad. Okay, anong oras ko ito siya gagawin? And then master the sixth minute. Ako on the process. Matagal ko nang tinuturo, pero hanggang ngayon, nagpa-practice pa rin. Amen? Minsan nakaligtaan, pero bumabalik ako. Eh, meron yun, meron yun. Isang araw. Isang araw. Mamamaster mo na talaga yun. Amen? So it's good to know. Huwag tayong pagising sa umaga na hindi mo alam nung gagawin mo. Dapat, you know, kung anong dapat mong gagawin, ano yung priority mo. At kinabukasan, babalikan mo yun. Okay, tapos pagkagabi ulit. Okay, thank you. Kasi masasatisfied ka eh. Sayang naman yung mamaghapo yun na wala ka talagang. At maramdaman mo din yun. No, maramdaman mo din yun na mayroon kang dapat gawin pero hindi mo nagagawa. There's something in the inside na wala kang peace, wala kang joy, hindi ka satisfied kasi hindi mo nagawa yung mga bagay na yun. Amen? O sa paglalaba, lahat, pagsasaing, paglalaba, lahat, lahat, pagdi-devotion, lahat yun dapat nakaschedule. Okay. Pag gano'n na yung, ano, yung, yung, yung mindset nyo, tapos laging lifestyle nyo na yun, alam nyo, hindi ka talaga basta-basta sa invitation. Hindi ka talaga basta-basta, hindi, titingnan ko muna, pwede ba yun? Kaya ba yun? Meron ako schedule ah. Kaya ba yun? Yun, isa yung nakakatulong na lagi kang natatigang muna. Yung hindi kagad, immediate kagad. Hindi. Mukhang meron akong schedule. Kaya ba yun? Kaya ba yun? Kaya Along the way, kaya nagiging productive ka talaga. Nagiging fruitful ka. Amen? Okay, so satisfied? Ah? Lay aside. Uh, don't forget talaga to always evaluate your status. Okay, itong ginagawa ko ba ngayon? Still connected pa ba to? Itong ginagawa ko, nagkukunik pa ba to? Itong ginagawa ko ba? Hindi ba? Hindi ba? Hindi ba to trap? Nagagawa ko pa yung dapat kong gagawin. You will always know. Kaya nga, if you know the will, if you want to know the will of God, you will always know. Amen? Hindi lang ano, kasi, kaya nga, be wise talaga. We are now living in the last age. Kailangan di tayo, mami, di tayo mamislead. No, di tayo mamislead. Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much, O God, for your word tonight. Thank you, Lord God, for that 80-20 principle. Uh, dalangin namin, Panginoon, O God, na Matututo kami to, to identify, yes, Lord, to identify our priorities every day. Help us, Lord God, to schedule our days. To schedule our days, to schedule our time, dear God. Lord, tulungan mo po kami sa area na to. Holy Spirit, help us in this area. Help us in this area, God, na mag-improve kami, na maging productive kami, magiging fruitful kami. We know how to manage our time. We know how to manage our time. We know how to manage our daily activity. We know, we know, we know, we know. Yeah, I declare it. We know, we know, we know our priorities. We know how to manage our time. We know how to manage our day. Not that they will manage us, but we know how to manage our day. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We receive that grace. We receive that grace. We receive. Yes, we know. We know. We know. We know. We know. And every day we are always fruitful. Every day we are always fruitful and productive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And every day we are always satisfied. Because we know, we know, we know, we know. That we did everything. 
we did what is priority. We did what is priority. Lord, would you to help us to major the major and minor the minor. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and teach us to make to how to focus on that minor on that major God on the priority in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. I speak it in the name of Jesus. Speak it in the name of Jesus. Every one of us, every one of us know our priority. Know our priority. Know how to schedule our priority. No, we know, we know, we know. And we have focus in every priority that we have in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed and wise. We are blessed and wise. We are blessed and wise in Jesus' name. Full of the wisdom of God. Full of the wisdom of God. Full of the wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We believe we receive it, Lord. We believe we receive it. We believe we receive it. We believe we receive it in Jesus' name. That's who we are, Lord. That's who we are. We're wise. We're wise. We're wise. We're wise. We're wise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So thank you very much. Jesus is Lord. Satan is defeated. And we are excellent leaders in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.